Behind me is Big Chico Creek Canyon, and up the hill is Forest Ranch Way. People who live along that street up there say their homes were fire protected. But when the park fire burned up the side of the canyon, it just wasn't enough to stop that fire from tearing through some of their neighbors' homes. Returning home after the park fire for Don Mitchell, who lives in Forest Ranch, was a blessing. My house is right there, and it's still standing, and it didn't burn. But hers burned. Parts of it burned. And then our good neighbors have nothing. His neighbors, though, were not as lucky. The park fire, now California's fifth largest fire on record, ripping up the Big Chico Creek Canyon and burning up at least three homes along Forest Ranch Road, but stopping short of jumping the road and getting to Don's house. It's unbelievable. It's too close to home. To my right, you can see just how devastating the park fire was to Big Chico Creek Canyon. And to my left here, you can see what was three homes which burned in the fire. That was a, a mobile home right there that Lou and Janie, they're good friends of ours that live here in the neighborhood. And then the next, there's two more houses that were good neighbors too. And they're, they've all everything lost everything. It's heart wrenching, especially when I saw the people there going through some of their stuff last night after they let us come back in here. Yeah, it hurts. Don says he and all his neighbors had defensible space around their homes at the request of Cal Fire, but it wasn't enough to save all of the homes. He thanks the fire crews for what they were able to save and warns others whose homes are in line with where the park fire burns now. Just do what they ask you to do. If that's all you can do. Just do what they ask you to do. That's what we did, and that's, that's probably why our houses are still standing. Now, fire officials say they're anticipating winds moving south tonight, and with that, they expect the smoke to also come south, and they would like residents to know who live south of where the fire is burning if they're sensitive to things like smoke to close their windows for the evening. Reporting in Forest Ranch, covering local news that matters, I'm Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.